This is definitely up there. This is gonna be the biggest piece, I think, in my lifetime. It's definitely up there, probably three times, 10 times, 20 times bigger than anything I've ever done. Anybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gabe Galt, and um, we're doing this mural here today. I don't know the title yet, but we're gonna figure it out as we go. Uh, it's, kinda, it's kinda the baby mural to the bigger mural that's going up. So yeah, we're gonna see how this whole thing kinda plays out. Uh, there was a call for artists, and I was the one who was chosen for this whole, um, for this whole uh, piece. So yeah, it's, it's been an experience, it's been a wild ride, and uh, I'm excited. I just got in here you know, a couple hours ago, and I'm ready to go. I got to come to Toledo and check it out. It's been just such a cool city and town and everybody's been super like helpful and just ready to do a cool project. And I'm just, I'm excited. It's like one of the biggest projects I'll ever do in my whole lifetime. And you don't get that opportunity every day. It's a little tall for me. I'm gonna do my part where I can, but you know, I'll leave that to the professionals over here. Uh, this guy's a beast right here, Dino, so. Yeah, that's what he does best. I'll stick to the ground and just kind of work it from here. On the silos, um, the artist himself is not really up there, you know, creating the artwork. It's, it's really kind of installed with a team of people. Um, on this scale, uh, the artist, you know, can get up there and actually paint and actually, you know, lay his hands on the, on the piece. So this is closer to the scale that Gabe is accustomed to working in. Oh, it's been great. Like we have, you know, Nick doing a documentary. We have uh, just all these talented artists who came out and just reached out to me and wanted to wanted to be a part of this whole thing. And that's just been like a whole different experience on another level of just like coming together and working and getting this thing done. Um, and it's just been all positive. I think I mean anything kind of around the city, you know, is you know with local artists and stuff like that. It is. Uh, it's important to kind of involve them, even, you know, with Gabe kind of coming in, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, and uh, giving people, you know, a taste of, you know, what else is kind of out there. I mean, uh, there's only probably six or seven artists that do large scale murals around here. So this is kind of changing up a little bit and, and getting a different style around here. Hi, I'm Chloe Klosinski. I'm a local tattoo artist and painter. Being a local artist, um, kind of just got uh, commissioned out, you know, from doing other projects around the city. So um, had some uh, mutual friends kind of on the job already. Um, because I'm scared of heights, so I wasn't interested in the uh, the large ones. So definitely perfect for the uh, for the uh, lower scale stuff. So. The, the nice thing about this is you get a sense of you know I think people see murals and they don't know where they come from or how they go up. And oftentimes they go up in the middle of the night and you didn't you did just show up one day. So I think this is one where um, by kind of letting people look behind the curtain a little bit, um, I think I think any kind of budding artist would look at this and say I could do that. You know, so I think that's the the idea behind this is think letting people have access to the sort of the behind the curtain. I saw the agriculture that was here before. Um, there was a lot of different sunflowers and animals and plant life, and I just thought that had to be represented. It's the ADM silos, they're, they're grain silos, so we wanted to do a lot of agriculture in there, and like the past farmers, future farmers, and current ones as well, and also a message of family and togetherness. I thought you just couldn't go wrong with that. We wanted something that would make the you know city appreciated as they drove by every day for work. Um, it's like you know a hardworking community, and I wanted to represent that. A lot of people can't really see the process, you know, of the large-scale mural, um, you know, with them uh, working at, you know, a slow, I mean, they're going at fast pace, but it is still slow paced, um, but people really can't just see the, uh, the full uh, process, so this kind of gives people an idea of what goes into it. With the projection of the mural uh, here, it's sort of a baby version of what's going to be happening at the larger site. Um, which has its own complications due to scale. Um, but it will include things like stenciling, and it will include things like projection, and so on. And there's, there's, there's a fair amount of freehand up there. And so uh, two or three members of the team are master muralists who can you know, freehand much of this based upon Gabe's work. I'm just trying to think, basically, at this point, just getting this thing done, that's the biggest issue for me. Um, and so that's kind of where all my focus has been is just how are we going to get this up here? You know, what kind of 
steps do we take next? So that's kind of been my full focus going ahead and not worrying too much about the size of it or, you know, anything like that, just how it looks. Right now, the number one, uh, the number one focus is laying down the base coat, which is that sky blue. Um, and that's kind of where we're kind of going through the learning curve and seeing how much paint the concrete will take. It's never been painted before. So we're seeing, um, you know, we're, we've been uh, slow going the last couple of days due to wind. And, um, and we're talking about 130 feet high. So uh, anything above, you know, 25 miles an hour is a little bit, you know, scary. So we're sort of at the mercy of the, the weather and the wind to a certain extent, but the ideal timeline would be about four to five months.